Hello, I'm David Holder. I'm a neurologist at UCH, but I also run a bioengineering research group here in medical physics at UCL. This research group's interdisciplinary and it works on neurophysiology and bioengineering, and in particular, the new imaging method of electrical impedance tomography. This is a small portable system that looks a bit like an EEG machine with electrodes on the head or on the brain and it has the unique potential to revolutionise imaging in epilepsy and in particular patients with severe epilepsy who need surgery over at our sister hospital at Queen Square. The particular application we're interested in is to do EIT with electrodes placed inside the brain by the surgeon. In order to do this imaging, we need a numerical finite element model of the head, which is sophisticated with 10 million elements, and the challenge within this project is going to be to create individual such meshes for each patient in which we incorporate the electrodes that have been inserted into or onto the brain by the neurosurgeon. Hello, my name is Ryo Tori. I am a lecturer in Mechanical Engineering Department at UCL. Electric impedance tomography, EIT, is essentially an inverse mathematical analysis method to reconstruct the brain. The accuracy of the reconstruction significantly depends on how the anatomical model is meshed into small tetrahedral pieces. It is also important that the anatomical model details, such as skull shape, the wrinkle structure of the brain, etc., represent individual subject. Specific challenges of the project include finite element analysis of individual subjects using individualized mesh based on MRI images and warping of the mesh using coordinates of electrode on a special helmet developed for ambulance use. If you are interested in mathematical part of our project, you can improve our solution method by incorporating through Maxwell solutions. The project will be suitable for a student with a background in engineering, mathematics or physics. The techniques and disciplines that we learn will be numerical methods, inverse mathematics, but also experimental design because the student will be working closely with medics and instrumentation engineers. It will be in an interdisciplinary group and so suits someone who likes working with uh, students from other backgrounds. The final deliverable will be a real working system that could make a unique difference to patients with severe epilepsy.